Hey guys, are you finally ready to bring peace to MLBB? Well fear not, this new marksman would definitely fuck those who tried to mess with him. You can finally dish out those idiots flying ninja and street cats meowing here and there. But most importantly, you can protect your butt from ex-boyfriend hookers like this dude. Introducing Nutella. I mean Nathan, the guy who controls space and time for no reason at all. Cause why not? It is in despair that I see the fondest hopes. So this is basically Nathan, new intro animation, it's really nice, and he also has his own music at the end of the animation. So is he the new Albert Einstein? Let us now see his gameplay and skills in the game. By giving meaning to time, this is Nathan's basic attack. He shoots a dense ball towards the enemy and making it pass through the enemy to attack twice. You are all repeating yourselves. As you can see, the ball bounces further if you hit more than one time when the enemy is far. He can hit up to three enemies in total, dealing magic damage to all of them. This is his first this skill. He shoots an energy mass dealing magic damage to enemies along the way. He also deals a certain amount of physical damage. This skill is also good for clearing minions. For tomorrow's sunrise, for yesterday. This is his second skill. He launches a gravitational ball which pulls enemy along the way dealing magic damage. The ball will also explode and knock him back enemies as well as dealing magic damage to them on a large scale. Here is an example. You can also do it to reposition your butt from the XBF in the bush. This is his ultimate call entropy. Nathan summons a clone of himself that inherits 35% of his attack and skill damage. The clone attack reversely presses ultimate again and Nathan dashes a little in his clone. What goes around starts. Just like that he 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 he. He and his clone can shoot really far even though the clone is further away. For every he could really control and reposition enemies in team fight really easy. The only problem is actually lack of mobility due to his second skill, which has a long cooldown of 10 seconds. Now for his passive, each time he deals damage with a skill, he gains a stack to increase his basic attack speed by 15% and movement speed increase by 7.5% for 5 seconds up to 6 times. And also when Nathan deals physical lifesteal from a build, he will convert it to magic lifesteal. Here is how far he can run before the red marking appears. Now that is all for the video. I hope you guys like it and also like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next update. Mother love me long time, long time. Sucky, sucky, fucky, fucky, one time, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. One time, Hong Kong, one time, one time, one time, one time. Love me long time, feed of my lungs long. Go back to